Hello, this is Roy Lilly. Pardon is still the nurse of a second woe. Pardon is still the nurse of a second woe. Shakespeare's Measure for Measure. In this context, it means granting forgiveness or pardon can sometimes nurture or lead to further problems. Nurse, used as a verb, to nurse or a noun, the nurse, or add a stretch, I suppose, an adjective. But nurse, not used in its literal sense, referring to a clinical professional, but figuratively, something that fosters or encourages the development of something else. (laughs) English, my first language. It ain't easy, is it? Anyway, how about this? The unique function of the nurse is to assist the individual, sick or well, in the performance of those activities contributing to health or its recovery or to a peaceful death that he would perform unaided if he had the necessary strength, will or knowledge. Now, that was Virginia Henderson, an American nurse, a researcher, theorist, writer and famous for that definition of nursing. And then there's this. Nursing is an art And if it is to be made an art, it requires an exclusive devotion as hard a preparation as any painter's or sculptor's work. Now, that was Florence, who, by the way, also said, apprehension, uncertainty, waiting, expectation, fear of surprise do a patient more harm than any exertion. (laughs) So, waiting list managers, please note. Uh, What about this? Nursing is a profession of profound complexity. It requires not only clinical expertise, but also emotional intelligence, critical thinking and adaptability. Nurses are at the forefront of healthcare, navigating through the complexities of illness, treatment and human experience to provide compassionate care to those in need. Who said that? Uh, Well, that was me. (laughs) So just what is a nurse? There are 600,000 of them in the UK and they seem to defy definition. Is nursing a hard-nosed profession where only competence counts? Is compassion obligatory or just a bit of a help? I mean, think about the plumber who turns up at your granny's house, a bathroom leak coming through the, the kitchen ceiling. He fixes the burst, mops up the kitchen floor, makes a cuppa and calls her daughter. A plumber using hard-nosed technical skills, compassion and nursing your granny out of her crisis. Are nurses the people we stood on the doorstep and banged our saucepans for? Some nurses hated that. On the picket lines you could hear the chant, nurses, nurses, nurses don't want thanks, we want money in our banks. Ask a member of the public to define a nurse and they'll almost always lapse into anecdote when their kids were ill or relative dying, reassuring a cancer patient, scared to death or just as likely they were rushed off their feet. The nurse who somehow manages to escape from the routine of you being the 20th person they've seen today and the 100th this week and understands for you she will be the first nurse you've seen today and maybe ever. Remembering, of course, 11% of nurses are blokes. Pat Cullen, the chief executive of the RC, chief executive of the RCN, said, "As nursing evolves, so must its practitioners. Continuous learning and qualification are essential for nurses to adapt, thrive, and provide the high standard of care." And that's the issue. Nursing is everything from sitting, having a chat, to carrying out complex diagnoses and treatments the Swiss army knife profession. Do we need definitions? Don't we just know? Well, the LCN don't think that knowing is enough. They think we, and particularly employers, educators and the profession itself, needs a greater clarity as nurses now work at the most advanced and complex end of the spectrum of care. Enhanced, advanced and consultant level nursing is defined and differentiated in a series of new documents which I linked to this morning. They've just been published and they're worth a look. They're part of the RCN work to move thinking beyond the point of registration and establish a professional framework. It's hard to imagine they haven't had this before. It's equally difficult to accept anyone can call themselves a nurse. 
It's not a protected title like solicitor. On the other hand, anyone could call themselves a judge. Most of us can only define a nurse in the context of our experience, and that creates a tension for a profession that wants to be defined by professional experience, education and training. We, the public, are blind to the difference between supervised and autonomous practice, which is a huge topic for another day. Back to Florence. She said statistics are the triumph of the quantitative method and the quantitative method is the victory over sterility and death. Today, I'm pretty sure she'd probably say the same thing about technology and education. This was Roy Lee. Thanks for listening and have a good week and I hope we'll